Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a really quick video to show you the altered paper clips that I've made and a couple other projects that I completed. Um, so I worked on the altered paper clips and they go pretty quickly. I have the ones with, well, this is my first one. But I have the ones with little paper clips and the ones with the larger paper clips. So let me just kind of maybe I can zoom in. So these are all just like ads. Like that one's from an ad. These are from a book about the 1940s yeah they were just a lot of fun to make and I think they're gonna be really fun to use so I am going to I needed a place to store it and I wanted to keep it separate from all of my other ephemera, especially because that was getting kind of overrun. I mean, it's getting pretty full. So, I made up some storage envelopes and pockets. And I wanted to show that to you guys and kind of organize everything in there. I think these turn out so cool, even the more modern ones. And by modern, I mean from the 70s. This is from a 70s magazine. But I think even these would even turn out with the really modern things. Maybe even makeup, any kind of little containers. All right, so I'm gonna show you, I made up a bunch of these envelopes and I think, let me back up a little bit. Sorry about the glare. So I made up one, two, three, four, five of these. I know I'll eventually need it for something. I did the first one with this stitch, just a straight stitch here. I don't know if you can see that. And then I tried one with the zigzag stitch and I do like the zigzag a lot better. So I think I am going to go ahead and just put these in here. I think this would be a cool place for them, just so I can store them until I'm ready to assemble these journals. I'm pretty much done with a lot of the projects that I started for these journals. Um, I think I have a couple more fasteners to make on some envelopes and then I can start on some other projects. I'm thinking of doing some slide mounts and some, let's see what else some cascading cards and then what else did I want to do? I think those are the two main projects and then maybe some stamping um, but I also made up these envelopes that I wanted to show you guys 
I am going to be putting my pressed flowers in here. I've been meaning to make that video. I'm going to bring my book um, on camera and take out the pressed flowers and show you guys while I do that. And I'm going to be storing them into these envelopes. And the way these envelopes open, so I made some with scrapbook paper and then I made some clear ones as well. Um, these open up like this and if you want a tutorial on this let me know I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one but if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments and the reason why I wanted to do this for the pressed flowers I think I have some pressed flowers in here is because pressed flowers are really delicate and they need to be sitting down. I mean, they need to be laying flat. Because <laughs> if you try to put them like this, like up like a book, like in a bookcase or something, they're just going to crumble and come to the bottom, at least for me. So I wanted to store them in something that could just always lay flat. I'm never going to put this up like this. I'm just going to lay it flat. So why don't I actually put some in here? Or you know what? I think that this will work better, the paper, because it's a lot more manageable. But I think it will look really pretty in a clear one. And the clear one, the reason why I don't think I want to use clear for many of the flowers is because the plastic is a little harder to handle. But let me go ahead and put some flowers that I have here in the clear ones and see how that works out. Oh, and these would work great because these leaves, the greenery and the leaves are not as fragile. I just have these sitting in a drawer in paper towels. And I made this batch probably two years ago and they have lasted quite a long time. I didn't think they would last this long. Yeah, I have a lot of green in here. I think it looks really pretty. I really want to find some more use for these green ones. I really think these are pretty. They just get so tangled up in each other. Alright, I'm glad I did this because now I, I can kind of try to try it and test it out and see how this envelope works with it. Some of these are already falling apart, so it's, I guess, a good way to try this out. Alright, I think I have one more little batch, possibly. Yeah, it's actually kind of a lot, 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one up. So I'm just going to store it flat like this in a drawer. And it's a drawer just designated for pressed flowers. Alright, let's go ahead and open this one up. I think this is just like a personal thing, but those lines in there, like for some reason, it really grosses me out. I have, I don't know if any of you guys have this, but whenever I see little dots close together, especially in nature, it's, I think it has a name like that. It's a phobia and it just really grosses me out. But when I see... A bunch of dots close together I will literally get chills and same with that type of thing it's just really gross to me like this like in there I'm like literally getting goosebumps right now these little ones are really delicate I think I'm going to keep them separate because the little flat, the little petals, I mean, they're actually little flowers within the flower. They fall off very easily. All right. So let's go ahead and close this one up. I'm going to try to kind of score it a little bit before. So there we have that one. And then I'm also going to go ahead. These are my favorite. I don't even know where I got these flowers. I think. Yeah, I don't remember. But these are my favorite. So I'm going to leave them in here. In the envelope that I think will work out a little bit better. there's more structure and these things need to really kind of have to work at them at first to get the string to go underneath but yeah so I have this one and I'm going to fill that one up as well as these two with the new flowers that's going to be coming up in a video soon so keep an eye out for that and then for the rest of the clear ones 
I think I'm going to store other things in them. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys. I think I might have shown this already, but I finished these envelopes up. I put the closures on them. So they're ready to go. But yeah, so I think I am going to go now, but before I go, I want to show you the jigsaw puzzle that I was working on. I finished it last weekend and I actually thought I would not finish it because it turned out to be harder than I thought it would be. It's a thousand piece puzzle and I started getting into puzzles a lot um, right before the pandemic. So I was already collecting puzzles and then now that the Hobby Lobby coupon is going away, I decided to buy a whole bunch of puzzles as well. Um, but this puzzle right here, this took me like one full weekend and one day last weekend and it, it was really hard because like this part was pretty easy because you can tell what pieces belong here I have it empty this piece is right here I'm going to film, film another video not not for this channel but I just left it out so I'm not missing any pieces but this was pretty hard to do because all the faces, I mean, I guess the faces ended up being pretty easy, but there's no large space that belongs to itself. So when you're sorting through the pieces, you can't really um, differentiate. I mean, they're all too different, actually, that you can't really say, like, oh, okay, that belongs in that corner or that belongs in that corner because there's faces all over the whole thing. The easiest part was probably this bottom part. Here, let me move this bottom part right here. Because the green part was really easy. Of course, this was very distinct and it's pretty big. And this guy was kind of hard because I was mixing up what pieces belong to him versus up there. So I worked on it for one weekend and then I was like, I don't want to do this. Like the day, the next day of the following weekend, I was like, this is too hard. I don't think I'm going to finish it. And so I was getting ready to put it away. And then I just started seeing like maybe this piece and I was like, okay, that goes there. So I just little by little kept doing it and I finished it that day. And it's really satisfying to finish a puzzle. Do you guys do jigsaw puzzles? I love doing them. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. I'm probably going to start another puzzle very soon. And yeah, um, let me know down below if you guys like to do puzzles. I would love to know. And if you guys have certain brands that you like or if you, um, where do you get your puzzles? Where it's reasonably priced or where are there really cool ones i kind of want to do a really big puzzle like a 9000 piece or even more than that i think that'd be really cool to work on over a period of time um but if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below if you have not subscribed yet i hope you'll subscribe today thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you next time bye everyone